are vaginal yeast infections diagnosed? Yeast infections are simple to diagnose. Your doctor will ask about your medical history. This will include whether you've had yeast infections before. They may also ask if you've ever had an STI. The next step is a pelvic exam. Your doctor will examine your vaginal walls and cervix. They'll also look at the surrounding area for external signs of infection. Depending on what your doctor sees they may collect some cells from your vagina. These cells will go to a labs for examination. Lab tests are usually ordered for women who have yeast infections on a regular basis or for infections that won't go away. How is a vaginal yeast infection treated? Each yeast infection is different, so your doctor will suggest a treatment that's best for you. Treatments are generally determined based on the severity of your symptoms. Simple infections For simple yeast infections, your doctor will usually prescribe a 1-3 day regimen of an antifungal cream, ointment, tablet, or suppository. These medications can be in prescription or over-the-counter OTC form. Common medications include Taconazole, Gynazole, Myconazole, Lortrimin, Monistat, Terconazole, Terazole, Fluconazole, Deflucan. Women with simple yeast infections should follow up with their doctors to make sure the medicine worked. A follow up will also be necessary if your symptoms return within two months. If you recognize that you have a yeast infection, you can also treat yourself at home with OTC products. Complicated infections Your doctor will more than likely treat your yeast infection as if it were a severe or complicated case, if you have severe redness, swelling, and itching that leads to sores or tears in your vaginal tissue. Have had more than four yeast infections in a year. Have infection caused by candida other than albicans. Are pregnant. Have uncontrolled diabetes or a weak immune system from medication. Are HIV positive. Possible treatments for severe or complicated yeast infections include 14 day cream, ointment, tablet, or suppository vaginal treatment. 2 or 3 doses of fluconazole, deflucan. Long-term prescription of fluconazole, deflucan, taken once a week for six weeks, or long-term use of a topical antifungal medication. If your infection is recurring, you may also want to see if your sexual partner has a yeast infection. Remember to use condoms when having sex if you suspect either of you has a yeast infection. What natural and alternative treatments are available? You can treat vaginal yeast infections with natural remedies if you would like to avoid taking prescription medication. Some popular natural remedies include Coconut oil Tea tree oil cream Garlic Boric acid vaginal suppositories Plain yogurt taken orally or inserted into the vagina Always make sure your hands are clean before applying creams or oils to your vagina. You may also want to talk to a doctor before trying natural remedies. Some herbs can interact with medications you may be taking or cause unintended side effects. How do you prevent vaginal yeast infections? Thumbs up to do. Eat a well-balanced diet. Eat yogurt or take supplements with lactobacillus. Wear natural fibers such as cotton, linen, or silk. Wash underwear in hot water. Replace feminine products frequently. Thumbs down avoid. Wearing tight pants, pantyhose, tights, or leggings. Using feminine deodorant or scented tampons or pads. Sitting around in wet clothing, especially bathing suits. Sitting in hot tubs or taking frequent hot tub baths. Douching. Often you may know exactly what led to your yeast infection. For example, some women experience these infections every time they take antibiotics. By recognizing your own risk factors, you can prevent future infections. infections.